Okay, welcome everybody to my first ever mixing video. This video we're gonna focus on mixing a lead vocal because it seems everybody wants to know, learn how to mix a lead vocal. So let's start with that. Um, I would like to start by saying sorry for any extra noise that's in this recording of my voice because it's over 100 degrees out here. I live in the desert and it's summertime, so the fan's on, the AC's on, it's moving my mic about uh, around a little bit, and uh, there's going to be some noise and possibly some distortion in my voice. Just know that that's not in this vocal recording. Um, it's, it's in my voice, not this audio track here. So... This audio track is my good friend Adeline De La Rosa. She's very talented. Her and her sister have a YouTube channel called The De La Rosa Duo. I'll leave a link below um, so you could check out some of their awesome videos that they've done. So getting started, um, let's just listen to this vocal dry, no processing. I don't want to be the last man standing I don't want to be the only one Picking petals when the party's over No, it's not any fun Cause I'm fragile And you I'm hollow, I'm hollow, cause I'm hollow, hollow. Okay, so as you can hear, this is a great recording. I believe they recorded this on their Apogee USB mic. I'm not sure what the model number is but you guys are probably familiar with the one I'm talking about and it's a great mic they're very good at recording with that mic and I'm very happy with how this came out but with any recording there's always a few things that could be tweaked to make it a little better so getting started let's go ahead and open up the window and I usually like to start with a de -esser because I'm going to add some EQ on the top end and it could add some sibilance. The original recording doesn't have much, but let's tame it before we hit the EQ instead of afterwards. Okay, so let's check that out. We're aiming for about three to six dB of gain reduction. I don't wanna be the last man standing. I don't wanna be the only one. Picking petals when the party's over No, it's not any fun Cause I... Okay, so we got about in that range that I was speaking of And it, it didn't really need that But it will, that's the thing So we're forward thinking here Okay, so the next thing I like to add Is some tape saturation And you could use a stock one I know Cubase has a stock one called Magneto 2. I've used it, it's great, but I have VTM. The Slate Digital products are incredible, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use VTM. So let's listen. Let's listen uh, what we got going here just with these two plugins. I'm fragile. And you Okay, so to me, that's subtle, but it adds quite a bit of body, it adds some character, it makes it more present, and it just gives it a vibe. So from there, what I usually will add is Virtual Mix Rack. And you can use stock plugins for all of these, okay? Don't think you need to go out and buy the Virtual Mix Rack just to do some mixing. Um, the one plug-in in here though that I, that I gotta say you can't 
create with the stock plugin is the VCC, Virtual Channel Collection, uh, Virtual Console Collection, sorry. Um, it, it just adds some character. That That's the best I can describe it. It's just, it's great. And usually with Adeline's vocal, I like to use the Neve, but in this particular recording, I really liked the Trident console. Just the way it imaged, the way it distorted, it, it's just pleasing. So let's listen to that. Hello, I'm hollow, cause I'm hollow, hollow. Okay, so once again, it just added some body, it brought that vocal forward, it, it gave it some imaging, and it just does something, something great every time. So I always use the VTM and VMR. The, the Slate Digital plugins are my absolute favorite. Oops. Okay, so from there, I usually add some subtractive EQ and I start with a high pass filter. Alan's vocal is pretty high, so there's not much in the low end. I could high pass all the way up to 200 and not hear much of a difference. Um, but I'm not gonna go quite that heavy handed. I'm gonna start at about 150 probably. Um, 150 seems like a good place for her vocal usually. So, 150, and let's listen to that in and out. I don't want to be the last man standing. I don't want to be the only one. Picking petals when the party's over. No, it's not any fun. Okay, so it, it just removes some of the mud. If you aren't listening on good monitors or a good set of headphones, chances are you're going to hear nothing at all there. But the thing is, even if you can't hear it, that energy is still there. So it's taking up space for something that actually does have some harmonic or frequency content down there. Okay, so might as well make room for that when it's not adding anything to this vocal. Okay, so that's why we clean that up. So next I'm gonna look in the low mids. I'm gonna boost that band and I'm gonna sweep around to find something nasty. Okay, let's do that. Cause I'm fragile and you I'm hollow. Okay, so I heard two things. I heard something around 800 and something around here in the 1K. I didn't like that. Okay, so I'm going to go and address that later. Um, but for now, I'm going to take out about 3 dB here at 800. And from there... I'm going to move on to the high mids and find something nasty there. So I'll narrow the cue, I'll boost it, and I'll sweep around. Oh, I'm hollow, cause I'm hollow, hollow. Okay, so to me, right there where I started at 3K, I did not like that. Once again, I heard the nastiness around 1K, so let's just use the stock EQ here and just pull a little bit of that out. Uh, I'm not liking that. I did hear some very good frequencies in both of these. Around 200, it was a little muddy, but just above that, it had some nice body. So that was nice, and around 7K, there was some good sounding stuff there. So we'll address that in a little bit. So let's take out that nasty 1K. I don't want to be the last man standing. I don't want to be the only one. 
picking petals when the party's over. No, it's not any fun. Okay, to me that sounds pretty good. Um, uh, just, I, I like to start with subtractive EQ because when I add compression, which is what I'm going to do now, I, I don't like that stuff being compressed, okay? I'd rather have a good sound going into the compressor and then boost things that I like after. Okay, so I'm gonna use this compressor here. Three to one ratio, slow attack, fast release. That's almost how I always, always set up a compressor for a vocal. And on this one, you have two circuits. I'm gonna use circuit two because it's a little smoother. So I'm gonna aim for three to six dB of gain reduction here. And then I'll use the makeup gain to kind of even it out. All right, so let's go to the loud part, which is here, and try and aim for three to six dB. I'm hollow, I'm hollow, cause I'm hollow. Okay, so that's going to even things out quite a bit. Next, I like to add... Well, before I add any EQ, let's listen to this compressor in and out. I don't want to be the last man standing. I don't want to be the only one. Picking petals when the party's over. No, it's not any fun. Cause I'm fragile. So it's just more present, it's more even, it's, it just, it even adds a tone about it. This is a great compressor. The Virtual Mix Rack is a wonderful plugin. Okay, so now I like to add some EQ. So let's use the frequencies that I liked before and just be very subtle with it because this Neve 1073 is a very powerful EQ. Okay, very little movements are very drastic. So I'm gonna only add about a dB or even less to to these frequencies that I liked. And you know this. Okay, it's more bright, it has some body to it. This high shelf right here, it's about 12K, I think. It's, this is the magic of the plugin right here. This frequency is the best frequency out of this entire EQ. I I'll, I'll add this just for this frequency, not even do anything down here. So, moving on, I'm going to go ahead and add Revival. Maybe get a little bit of body in there and a little top. I'm hollow. I'm hollow, cause I'm hollow. I also took out a little bit of this muddy 360. There's always almost, there's almost always something that you can remove there. So maybe that's a little too much. Uh, that should be good. Okay, so let's listen to this take in and out, this whole chain. Petals when the party's over. No, it's not any fun. Okay, so to me, there was just a little too much low end that I added, so I dialed that back a little bit. Um, but other than that, I thought that this sounded pretty good. Now, there is some gain being added, so with this next plugin, I'm gonna turn things down for more accurate AB. Um, but 
you know, I could still tell even with that gain being added that this sounds nicer than it did before. So that being said, I'm going to go to one of my favorite compressors and I'm just going to add this just for the color really. So this is a Blue Stripe 1176. This is great on vocals. I'm going to use slow attack, fast release as usual. I'm just going to aim for a half a dB to a dB on this one because I'm just using the color and I'm just ever so slightly evening things. Cause I'm fragile and you I'm hollow. Perfect. So about a half a dB on the loud part. Okay. So just bear in mind that with this emulation, uh, when I bypass from now on, there's going to be a slight pop. Okay. It's not in the recording. It's just when bypassing because this is such a close emulation and the UAD stuff is excellent too so if you get a chance get your hands on that so let's go ahead and listen to that oh, I'm hollow oh, cuz I'm hollow hollow oh. so if you were looking at the meter it was pretty close to the same but with the plugins on it sounds so much louder and that's because things are more even the average volume is turned up the peaks are turned down it's just more consistent and the frequencies are cleaned up and sounding so much better so I'm gonna do one last thing and what that is is I'm gonna add another slate digital plugin the FG mu and once again slow attack fast release and I'm gonna have a high pass fil <coughs> excuse me high pass filter to go ahead and not trigger it with that low end rumble so once again I'm just gonna aim for a half a DB to a DB of compression just for the tone of this so if you don't have this you can use some tube saturation then it'll probably give you kind of a similar color. Oh, I don't want. I'm hollow. I'm hollow. Oh, Cause I'm hollow. Hollow. Oh, I don't want to be the last man stand. Okay, so that just adds some body, it adds some presence, it just, it, this is a great compressor, and if you have a chance, get it, it's wonderful. Okay, so from there, that's all the processing as far as EQ and compression, so let's go ahead and listen to that all in and out, and you be the judge, uh, if you think it sounds better or not. Ending. I don't want to be the only one Picking petals when the party's over No, it's not any fun Cause I'm fragile And you I think that sounds light years better But I'll leave that up to you so next I would go to some effects. So I'm going to be very simplistic with this video just for the sake of time because this is already very long and I have dogs barking in the back. I'm sure you could hear it. Uh, but anyway, we're going to make the best out of this. So I'm just going to use some reverb as well as some delay. And I'm going to use my favorite reverb, which is the EMT 140 plate. Um, I love plates on vocals as well as drums. So we're going to add some plate and we're going to fiddle with it. Who know this? I'm hollow. I don't want to 
be the last man standing I Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I did there. I just started by filtering out some of the low end. I increased the length of it because I love the tail of this reverb. It's beautiful. Um, I filtered out some low end and some top end um, because this is a great trick. I use this on all my effects returns. Um, this is known as the Abbey Rhodes reverb technique or something to that effect because they used to use this. They use this in Abbey Road Studios and it's great on every effect. I use it all the time. So moving on, let's add some delay. I'm going to use my favorite, which I'm going to use a mono delay because I don't want it muddying up the stereo image. Okay, so I'm going to use the Lexicon PCM42, which I've never had the luxury of using the real hardware, but this, this emulation is great. So I'm going to use a quarter note delay, high cut, add a little bit of feedback in there, and let's just listen to it as it is. I don't want to be the only one, picking petals when the party, when the party. Okay, so it's over the top, but we're going to do that same trick. Filter this out, filter this out. We're going to listen to it now. Party's over. No, it's not any fun. Okay, so I think that sounds better. Um, I'm going to go back to this. And what I'm going to do next is something to control it from walking all over the vocal which it's sort of that's what it's doing right now so I'm gonna grab a compressor this is Steinberg's version of 1176 I'm not sure if it emulates it but it looks like it and acts like one so I'm just gonna use a ratio of 20 to 1 so I'm crushing this just getting a lot of gain reduction because I don't want it to play when it's when the vocal's going I want it to be turned down a lot and then when the vocal stops I want this compressor to open up and let the delay through so what I did was I activated the side chain and I'm gonna trigger it from my lead vocal okay so let's listen to that Cause I'm fragile. okay much better but it's too loud so I'm gonna turn that down I usually start around 10 DB minus 10 DB and let's listen to it I wanna be the last man standing I don't wanna be the only one picking petals when the party's over. No, it's not any fun. Cause I'm fragile. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Now, bear in mind that if this was being played with the track, these settings would be for everything EQ compression reverb delay that would all be different because it would be needing to be mixed in with the rest of the elements okay so this is in solo so uh, things are a little different okay so don't pay attention to the settings just pay attention to the technique and incorporate it in that way so that's basically all I would do here. Um, sometimes I would send this to the reverb, but I'm not going to do that here. So let's just listen to this whole thing. I'm going to play it, and I'm going to bypass everything in and out, and then we'll listen to the whole thing wet, and we'll call it a day. I don't want to be the last man standing. I don't want to be the only one. Picking petals when the party's over. No, it's not any fun. Cause I'm fragile. And you know this. 
I'm hollow, I'm hollow, cause I'm hollow, hollow. I don't want to be the last man standing, I don't want to be the only one, picking petals when the party's over. No, it's not. Cause I'm fragile And you know this I'm hollow I'm hollow Cause I'm hollow Okay, so what started out as a very good vocal recording turned into something that, in my opinion, is radio ready. In the track, it would sound even better. Um, I would have to make some tweaks, but the reverb wouldn't be so overpowering. But this is, you know, things are different when you listen in solo. This is how you guys are going to hear all the little subtleties and it's just the kind of the best way to do it here. Um, anyway, I like to end this video by saying thank you for watching this. I hope you learned something. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, if you have any suggestions for me or something that you want to learn, or if I went over something too fast and you want me to go back and do it slow, uh, I'm happy to do that. So I'll take any suggestions from you because I've never done this before. Um, I'm learning and I want you guys to learn. And if I can make that easier for you guys, as well as easier for me, then I would like to do that. So keep an eye out for more videos. Go check out Adeline's channel because as you can hear, she's wonderful. She's a great singer. She has a lot of dynamics and just so much control. So I hope you enjoyed this video and like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinions. Um, if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. If I even get one subscriber, I'll be beyond happy. Okay, so check out other videos when they come up and take care.